What's going on guys and welcome back for another Madden 23 Patriots franchise gameplay. For those of you who are new to the channel, man, go ahead and do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button. I post a lot of franchise gameplays here on the channel. And I would hate for you guys to miss out on a single upload. But for those of you who have been following this Patriots franchise for a while now, it is time, fellas. We have made it all the way through the playoffs, and we are here at the Super Bowl. Our Patriots are going to be getting ready to take on the Atlanta Falcons here after I get done going through these upgrades. And boy, did we have a lot of them. I didn't show you guys all the upgrades. I think in total we had about like eight or nine of them. I just saved the good ones here is as you see david andrews you, you see that little thing that came up at the end there david andrews has unlocked an ability slot right there new ability unlocked for david andrews wonder what that means because you know david andrews we didn't have any superstar linemen well david andrews is an award winner on our team so he ended up winning i believe best lineman or yeah best office lineman award ended up getting a nice upgrade there to uh superstar and unfortunately cole strange is injured i end up doing the uh, was just freaking ridiculous i end up doing the uh weekly training and i put my weekly training on half pad because i literally did not want any injuries at all and this dude ended up getting like a high ankle sprain or something in practice and now he's out so it's ridiculous i finally have my entire offensive line back isaiah Wynn is back and now cole strange gets injured in practice for the super bowl practice practice so yeah, that's something we're gonna have to deal with. As you see, I'm going through the abilities with David Andrews. I'm not really sure what to put on him. I end up putting Nasty Streak on him, but I mean, that doesn't really fit his play style, I guess, because I mean, I don't really pull with him. So the only time that Nasty Streak is really gonna be available for me is if I'm running the ball and David Andrews just happens to get out in front of Damon Harris or Ramondre Stevenson, whoever's my running back. So it is what it is. Uh, maybe I'll end up changing that next year or next season, I don't know. Uh, a lot to think of there but looking at the defensive side of things check it out matthew judon ended up getting a nice little upgrade as well i'm not sure if his was for award winners because i mean at one point in the year matthew judon was leading the league in sacks but then we had all those freaking desyncs and the games did not save so he ended up losing that title so i'm guessing he just got it off based off of overall performance um and uh, for his year so hey definitely not a too bad of a year for our new england patriots could have been better but it's not too bad at all so we'll take a quick look here at the rest of the award winners you see jalen hurts ended up winning uh mvp uh nick sirianni or whatever the uh, the head coach name is he ended up winning coach of the year defensive player of the year was cj mosley george pickens won offensive play, uh, rookie of the year defensive rookie of the year goes to sauce gardner patrick mahomes won best quarterback in the afc joe mixon won running back of the year uh wide receiver of the year keenan allen which could have been my guy you see right there david andrews our guy is the best offensive lineman best defensive lineman was von miller could have been should have been matthew judon i'm not going to get into that one best defensive back was Kevin Byer. Could have been, should have been Bubba Bowden, or actually could have been Devin McCourty as well. I mean, we had a lot of pretty good uh, secondary guys. But anyways, that's how the cookie crumbled today, so to speak. We just did not get anything. So take a quick look here at the playoff picture. See how everybody got there. You see that the Falcons ended up having a 31 point victory over the Cowboys to take them to the Super Bowl. Not gonna lie, as a Redskins fan, Commanders fan, whatever you wanna call me, I enjoy seeing the Cowboys lose, even if it's in just get video game form. So here we are going to go ahead and look at the season stats, not for ourselves, but just to get a quick idea of how the Falcons play. Desmond Ritter has a lot of interceptions thrown, but he also has a, quite a few touchdowns thrown in 42. Uh, Dave Montgomery, Cordell Patterson are the running backs. Drake London, Kyle Pitts is going to be a problem. And Demir Bird are the receivers, and it looks like Cordell Patterson gets involved a little bit in the passing game as well. Defensive-wise, sack leader for the Atlanta Falcons is Grady, uh, Grady Jarrett, so we're going to have to make sure we have him blocked. Should be a little bit easier now that we have more of our offense of lineback. Casey Hayward Jr. leading them in interceptions with 13. Definitely going to have to be cautious about how we throw his way. And everybody else, they actually have pretty decent interception numbers on the Atlanta Falcons. So enough of the talking, man. It is time for the Super Bowl. I will see you guys on the field. Madden Football is the home of Super Bowl 57, and this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Pats and the Falcons, and it's all up next.
It's the moment we've all been waiting for. We are live from Glendale, Arizona for Super Bowl 57. It's the Atlanta Falcons getting ready to take on the New England Patriots, and the Patriots are going to be starting off with the ball. Here is Marcus Jones from his own end zone. He's going to take this one out. We all know how dangerous he has been, but oh man, Marcus Jones starts this game off by putting the ball on the ground. Not a nice start there. Let's see if Mac Jones is able to help this offense bounce back. First carry of the day goes to Damian Harris. He's able to turn that into a gain of six yards second down and four jones back to throw feeling a little bit of pressure has a man open but he under throws tyquan thornton that ball's going to be intercepted by hayward and oh man this is a rocky start for our new england patriots now here comes desmond ritter and the falcons great starting position for him feeling some pressure as he leaves the pocket to his right ends up getting rid of that ball before he ends up getting hit Second down and 10 from the 42-yard line. Ritter back to throw one more time. Has a clean pocket. Has a man open. It's Edwards underneath. Picks up the first down and ends up ducking out of bounds at the 28-yard line. The Falcons are definitely looking to capitalize on the early turnover here by the Patriots. Handoff goes to the running back Montgomery. He's able to power his way forward for just a gain of two yards on the play. Ritter under center here on second down and eight from the 26-yard line. Handoff goes to David Montgomery one more time. Ends up weaving his way through traffic picks up a nice game but hold on there is a flag on the play it is holding on the wide receiver drake lennon backs them up to the 31 yard line for second down and 13 ritter with the empty set formation drops back has a man open wide open on the sideline it's demir bird picks up the first down and ends up getting knocked down at the 14 yard line there by jabril peppers this patriots defense is going to have to step up here they weren't expecting to be on the field but hey right on cue here comes matthew judon getting a sack for a loss of eight yards on the play second down to 18 from the 22 yard line and this Patriots defense is starting to show some life as Ritter's down again this time Jamin Davis coming off the edge getting him for a sack big third down to 27 here just don't give up any big plays it looks like the Falcons are going to play it safe they're going to hand this ball off to David Montgomery obviously not expecting to pick up the first down there just playing for field goal range here comes Mr. Koo on the field that kick is going to be up and good the Falcons are able to capitalize off the early interception thrown there by Mac Jones and just get three points Definitely not the end of the day. Glad to see our defense step up there. But Mac Jones, we've got to get that ball out earlier. Tyquan Thornton was wide open. Now first down and 10 for our second possession of the day. Mac Jones from the 27-yard line with Damian Harris, to his running back. Hands this ball off to Damian Harris. Hits the sideline. Breaks one tackle. Looks like he has a gain of five for the moment. But there is a flag on the play. Holding on the right guard, Amenu ends up backing us up to first down to 18, negating that five-yard gain there by Damian Harris. But hey, look at Hunter Henry. A nice grab there as he ends up skying over top of the superstar defensive back. Casey Hayward picks up the first down to the 45-yard line. First down and 10 here from the 45. Mike Jones back in the shotgun formation. Has a man in motion. It's Tyquan Thornton. It's a pop pass here for Tyquan Thornton. Needs one block. He got it there from Jacoby Myers, but a bad read on the play. Only able to get a gain of four yards. Second down to six, and Mac Jones is dropping way back, buying some time. Has a man wide open in the middle of the field. It's Jacoby Myers making the grab down to the 24-yard line. Oh, man, Jacoby Myers has just been that go-to receiver for Mac Jones in these playoffs. First down to 10, though, he ends up finding Tyquan Thornton, makes the catch in the middle of the field, ends up racing all the way down to the five-yard line. First down and goal, first trip inside the red zone. Definitely want to leave with a touchdown. Handoff goes to Damian Harris. He's able to get us a little bit closer after a gain of two yards to the three-yard line. Second down and goal. Mac Jones hands his ball off to Damian Harris one more time. This time, they end up stopping him in the backfield for a loss of one yard on the play. New England's going to have to get aggressive here on third down and goal. Mac Jones back to throw under pressure. Gets that ball off to wide open. Nelson Aguilar in the end zone for the first Patriots touchdown of the game. The first touchdown scored of the Super Bowl. That gives us a six. Make that seven to three lead over the Atlanta Falcons early in this one. But hey. That, that drive right there was a pretty daggone good drive. Mac Jones holding strong in the pocket with the pressure in his face and still just delivering dots. Now it's on our defense to get a stop. Can we get a stop and get this ball right back to the offense? And Jalen Mills is helping out the cause. Ends up stopping Montgomery there right at the line of scrimmage. Second down and 10 from the 25-yard line. Play action fake this time for Ritter. Drops back, has time, running out of it there. Couldn't find anybody open. Desmond Ritter makes a smart decision and throws that ball away. It's third down and 10 for the 25-yard line. This Patriots defense is looking to get off the field. Pressure is on, and oh, Desmond Ritter hit as he's throwing that ball. That one's going to be incomplete. Fourth down and 10, you got no choice but to punt this ball away here. And the defense did their job. They held strong, forced the punt, 
getting this ball right back to our offense. And okay, Marcus Jones, go ahead and return the ball you want, bro, but make sure you hold on to that ball. No more fumbles, please. First down and 10 here after the turnover. Mac Jones going deep downfield. He wants it all. And oh, he just overthrows the speedster Taekwon Thornton. But hey, Roughing the passer, still going to get us an extra 15 yards, moves us up to the 48-yard line. First down and 10, handoff goes to Damian Harris. Gets a nice gain of six yards there. Four rushes for 13 yards for Damian Harris, not too bad. Second down, Jones looking to throw, has time, wants Hunter Henry. And oh man, Mac Jones threaded the needle there, but Hunter Henry unable to make the grab. Leads to a third down and four, Jones back to throw one more time. Checks this one down underneath to Nelson Aguilar, who looked like he had the first down there for a minute. Looked like he even got tackled across the marker, but no. Fourth down and inches here. Jones back to throw. He wants Tyquan Thornton. He's got him all the way down to the 25-yard line, keeping this drive alive for our New England Patriots. First down, Jones looking to throw one more time. Why not? The airways have been wide open. Ends up checking this one down underneath there to Damian Harris. Gets a nice gain of six yards to the 19-yard line. Second down and four. Handoff goes to Damian Harris this time. He's able to clean up the rest of the yardage needed. Picks up another first down inside the 15-yard line here at the 14. Jones under pressure here. No time to scan the field no time to find anybody open mac jones is up getting sacked for a loss of 11 yards on the play to make matters even worse we just lost our starting right tackle isaiah win for the remainder of this game he's been injured all season but i mean hey at least we know what we have with the backup and at least our backup does not have to block von miller this week now third down to five needed a conversion here jones looking to scan the field can't find anybody tries to rely on damon harris to pick up that first down needed five he only got two so we're going to call on the leg of nick folk from 24 yards out that kick is up and good the patriots will take a seven point lead over the atlanta falcons at the 247 mark kind of sucks because we really wanted to punch that one into the end zone but it's all good we'll see what our defense can do maybe they'll able to, they'll be able to get another stop here for us desmond ritter drops back to throw him on first down christian barmore applying the pressure but ritter's able to avoid him still on the run ends up finding a man wide open is kyle pitts kyle pitts on the nice little route bounce getting open for his young uh, quarterback gets all the way down to the 27 yard line one play already puts three points in the falcons back pocket but you know they want to go for the end zone Ritter not wasting any time, finding Demir Bird wide open in the end zone. What a blown coverage there by our Patriots. That play action, that was a heck of a play action, I'm not going to lie. It fooled the heck out of me. I 100% sold out on that run. I thought David Montgomery was about to get the ball, but just the way that he was running the ball before. And, hey, kudos to the Falcons for the awesome play call. And thank you, Marcus Jones, for holding on to that ball. Now it's a tie ball game here at 10 apiece. First down, Mac Jones back to throw. He wants to go deep downfield into triple coverage for Taekwon Thornton. Big ass there. Luckily, that, that pass was not intercepted. Second down and 10, handoff goes to Damian Harris. He's able to get us a gain of two yards to the 17-yard line. Third down to eight, Mac Jones drops back to throw. Need a first down here. Has a man wide open. It's Jacoby Myers on the sideline, falling down as he makes the catch to the 39-yard line, keeping this drive alive. Man, Jacoby Myers has really just stepped up so far this year. Ever since that contract that he signed, oh, we try to go right back to him, but this one's going to be intercepted for the second time. K Casey Hayward has another interception. He's off when the return gets hit hard at the 41-yard line, but here comes the Falcons with the chance to take the lead here. Play action fake one more time. It's not going to get us. And Desmond Ritter checks this one down to his running back in the flats, ends up losing two yards on the play. Backs him up to a second down of 12 with 30 seconds left. No timeout called. Handoff goes on the jet sweep to Drake London. Turns the corner. Ends up getting chopped down inbounds. Falcons will call their first of three timeouts there with 24 seconds left on the clock here in the first half. Third down and one. Ritter back to throw. Looking to convert this first down, but ends up missing the target there. Leads to a fourth down and one. The offense is going to stay on the field here. It's handoff to the fullback, and that's going to be close, but he does not get it. The Patriots defense holds strong, and you got to wonder for the Falcons, why would you not take those three points? I mean, you were in field goal range for a young way coup, but... Yeah, those three points, they could come back to haunt them. You never know how these types of games it could end, especially with this being the Super Bowl. Risky call there. We'll go ahead and make a mental note of that and see if those three points come back into play later on in this game. But the Falcons do start off with the ball in the second half. And, I mean, it kind of plays on right here. You kick the field goal, you're up three points, and you get the ball with another chance to go up two scores or possibly add on another field goal. 
I don't know. Not the way I would have handled the situation here, but it's second on 11 here for Desmond Ritter. Checks this one down underneath to his tight end. Kyle Pitts has the first down, gaining about 15 yards up to the 40-yard line. First down and 10 here for the Atlanta Falcons. The handoff goes to David Montgomery, and he's up powering through the tackle there. Dietrich Wise ends up getting brought down by... Devin McCourty, I believe, after a gain of three yards. Second down, and Desmond Ritter's looking for someone to come free, but runs out of time. Ends up going down. Two Patriots end up combining for the sack there. Brings up a third down at 14 from the 37-yard line. Big third down here, and that ball's going to be intercepted by Bubba Bowden. Intended for Cordell Patterson, but Bowden stepped in front of that one. And, oh, man, what a turnover when we needed the, it the most. First down and 10 here, already on the other side of the 50. Try to set the screen here to Ty Montgomery. Gets the blockers out in front of him. Ty Montgomery almost had the first down there. Nice gain of nine yards there. Gets us to the 36-yard line for a second down and one. Mac Jones in the shotgun formation with the running back Ramondre Stevenson in there. Mac Jones dropping way back. Has a man open late. It's Kendrick Bourne, but he led him a little bit too far there. Third down and one. Needed the conversion here. Damian Harris gets the handoff. Harris has the blocks. And, oh, man, Damian Harris took a shot there. But, hey, he held onto the ball. Picks up the first down. More importantly, first down. Down and 10, Ramondre Stevenson in there to give Damian Harrison a little bit of a, uh, of a break. Gets us to a second down of six. Mac Jones back to throw. Looking for Hunter Henry. Makes the grab, steps in front of the defender there. Ends up helping Mac Jones avoid throwing his third interception. Gets this ball down to the 15-yard line. Handoff goes to Damian Harris. Powering through the tackles there of the Atlanta Falcons for a gain of five down to the 10-yard line. Handoff here on second down and five. Damian Harris had the goal line in his sights, but he gets stopped just three three yards shy. Mac Jones wanting to finish this one off with the touchdown, and he does just that, making the right read there on the RPO, throws the bubble there to Kendrick Bourne, and he does the rest of the work, gets into the end zone, giving the Patriots a six, make that seven point lead here in the second half. And again, you go back to that field goal that the Falcons denied. This could only be a four-point lead for them where, I mean, yeah, a field goal doesn't help them take the lead at all at that point, but a touchdown gives them that much more of a lead. Now here starting off the second half with their second possession of the day, handoff goes to the running back Montgomery. He stopped after a gain of only one yard. Second out of nine, right back to Montgomery. And, oh, man, that's not a man you want to run into. Bubba Bowden sits him down after a gain of two yards. Now third down to seven. Oh, dangerous throw there. But it is, it is complete to Drake London. Makes the grab for a gain of five yards. They are still two yards shy. And the Atlanta Falcons are going to punt this ball away. Now, I, I'm not 100% sure again. But I'm pretty sure in the second half he could have gone for that fourth down and two. But the Falcons just did not feel confident in their defense or their offense. I guess they feel more confidence in their defense. Let's see what their defense is able to do as they give up a big play there for the first down to Tyquan Thornton. Gets the gain across the first down market to the 32-yard line. We are now in the fourth quarter here, and Hunter Henry is wide open in the middle of the field still, making a huge grab there. Mac Jones is approaching the 200 yards passing mark for the game. First down to 10, handoff goes to Damian Harris. And, oh, man, this Falcons defensive line was ready for him, stopping him right at the line of scrimmage for nothing gain. Second down and 10 here from the 48. Jones back to throw one more time under pressure, and this D line is screaming at him. Aronson ends up bringing him down for a loss of 20 yards. Big third down and 20 here from the 39-yard line. Definitely want to get points here if we're able to. We set up the screen here to Damian Harris, and – Safe play call there by New England Patriots. There's not many too, too many play calls in the book for a third down and 20. So we just played it safe, called the screen, already knowing that we were going to punt the ball away on fourth down if we didn't get any type of a miracle return as uh, Cordell Patterson gets this ball up to the 19-yard line. First down and 10 here for Desmond Ritter, looking to see if he can help this team tie this game up. He's under pressure as Matthew Judon is giving chase. Ritter can't find anybody open. Looked like he had Kyle Pitts uh, streaking down the middle of the field, but there was definitely no way that he was going to make that throw. Definitely no way he can make that throw right there as Matthew Judon is all over him as he releases that ball. It's third down and 10 from the 19-yard line. Ritter's in the shotgun formation with David Montgomery, his running back. Ritter drops back to throw, feeling the pressure one more time and Jawan Bentley coming free sacks Ritter all the way back to the nine yard line his first sack of the day gets them to a fourth down and 20 they have no choice but to punt this ball away and the Falcons offense just has not been able to get anything going here in the second half it's been punt after punt for them you gotta think that 
they got to start piecing things together. The clock is about to be against them. First down and 10 here for Mac Jones, already across midfield, and now inside the 30-yard line as he completes that pass to Hunter Henry down to the 27-yard line. First down and 10 here for Mac Jones with a man in motion as Tyquan Thornton getting the pop pass. Tyquan Thornton has one man to beat, and oh man, he's not getting past Johnson. Hit hard at the 21-yard line after a gain of five on the play. Mac Jones tried to set up the screen here, and oh man, smart decision to throw that one at the feet of his running back as the Falcons sniff that play out. Third down to five here, hand the ball off to Damon Harris, see if he's able to pick up this first down. And again, that was another conservative play call that we had there. We're already up seven points. Go ahead and kick the field goal. Now is a two-score game at 10 points with two minutes and 45 seconds. And all the pressure is on the Atlanta Falcons and Desmond Ritter. Your team is down 10 points with two minutes and 45 seconds with three timeouts. Can you do what you need to do to get them in scoring range to keep them in this game? He starts off with a man in motion. It's going to be a jet sweep here to David Montgomery. Ends up being stopped in the backfield for a loss of a yard. Huge play there by Christian Barmore. Second down and 11 from the 24-yard line. Ritter back to throw. Doesn't see anybody open deep. Ends up checking this one down to Demir Bird in the flats, but a great open field tackle over there by Jamin Davis is going to help take us to the two-minute warning. Now it's time to put up or shut up. Big plays only. Ritter drops back to throw on third down and three. Ends up finding David Montgomery underneath. Makes the grab, gets the first down, but unfortunately is not able to get out of bounds. That's exactly what the Falcons need. They need to get out of bounds. They need to save these three timeouts in hopes that they're able to get in the end zone, that they're able to force a three and out and get the ball back for their offense. And oh, Desmond Ritter with a dangerous throw there laid across the middle. Ends up completing that pass to De Demir Burton yet again. But oh boy, was Devin Montgomery in the areas to make a play on that ball. First down and 10 here, approaching the one minute mark in the fourth quarter. Desmond Ritter is in the shotgun formation, making adjustments at the line of scrimmage. You don't have time for that. The snap is away with one minute left. Here comes Jabril Peppers putting the pressure on him, but Ritter stands strong in the pocket, ends up finding his big tight end. Kyle Pitts down the field, gets into the end zone. That flag is going to be roughing the passer on Jabril Peppers. For the moment, Desmond Ritter has done enough to keep his team in this game. Now it's going to be on the Atlanta Falcons defense to stop the Patriots offense. Can they do it? Mac Jones has been hot so far in this second half as Mac, my Marcus Jones returns this ball out of the end zone. We're going to start with the ball at the 15-yard line. Mac Jones starts with the handoff going to Damon Harris. Harris turns the corner and gets a decent gain of five yards up to the 19-yard line. There goes the first timeout of the Atlanta Falcons. Second down to five here. Mac Jones drops back to throw. Has a man open in the flats. It's Harris, but oh, he drops the ball. That helps out the Atlanta Falcons. Big third down and five here from the 19-yard line. Mac Jones back to throw. He finds a man. It's Jacoby Myers across the middle of the field, and that right there will do it. The Falcons will call their second timeout, but it, is, it means nothing, honestly. It means nothing that they call that timeout because they don't have enough to get this ball back. Mac Jones will need the ball down in victory formation, and the New England Patriots are your Super Bowl 57 champions as they knock off the Atlanta Falcons 20-17. Oh man, when you look back on this game, you can't help but think about that field goal that the Falcons just chose not to go for. I mean, you were in Ku's range. I don't know why you just don't kick that field goal. I mean, that's definitely going to be something that he'll be thinking about this entire offseason. But hey, for our Patriots, we're going to be thinking about what a heck of a season this was, man. Leave a like on this video if you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like just because we won the Super Bowl. Subscribe for more Patriots franchise gameplays. I mean, look, I'm so happy that we won the Super Bowl. All I can think about right now is let's do it again next year, man. I'm ready for year number two. I'm ready to get through this offseason. Can't wait to bring you guys the offseason videos. Be on the lookout for those, the, just the different changes that we're going to make. Let me know down in the comment section some players that you all think or some areas that you all think I should look to improve. Like I said, leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe for more. And I will catch you guys for season two of our Patriots franchise. Later.